number two reason I left you guys, white privilege versus black privilege. I was so sick and tired of living in a country where white privilege was everywhere. I got tired of it. First of all, if you don't know what white privilege is in America, then you are really, really a fool. Any black person who has a white friend, I don't care if that white dude's a, a wigger or a preppy ass white dude from Harvard. If you have white friends and you're rolling down the street or if you're at a place, you know, and your friend knows that the police pull you over, the white dude better talk. I was in business. I had a white business partner because I knew my black ass walking into some companies, no matter where I wear a suit, Versace, Gucci, all you black folks, I don't care about the Escalade, that Mercedes. And then the day when it comes down to it, you know that the white dude walking in gets the deal. I did it three times, three times. I had white partners and or a white sales executive. And I tried it here in Asia, it backfired. But in the States, I had white partners and white sales executives because I knew that when my black ass walked into AT&T, for example, for the contract, they gave me the minority supplier contract. I had to be minority certified. I could just walk in like a white dude and sell an ad or sell a campaign or sell marketing or sell a website to them. I couldn't do it. Once they saw me as a black American man or black man in general, they all of a sudden said, oh, the only reason we're going to do business with you is for the tax break. So they call that minority supplier. Let me tell you this. A white dude can walk in, take them to Houston's or go have some steak at Ruth Chris Steakhouse, right? Talk the deal. He can open the company the next day, get the contract from the company, which has happened with the president. And then tomorrow he got the contract for a million dollars, $30 million, $100, whatever the hell it is, right? I realized that as a young guy and as a black American in the state,